Hi there, I'm Coach Cassandra and I've got beginner Swiss ball exercises for you that will help you work on your balance and stability. Now first up, safety. If you have never used a ball like this before, try sitting on it next to a wall or holding onto a chair for balance. Work your way up to doing these exercises without any assistance. All right, so first up is ball circles. Ball circles are the perfect place to start to loosen up the body and get used to sitting on a Swiss ball. Make the circles as small or as big as you like. As you warm up, you can go deeper into each circle. So for this one, you're just gonna sit on a ball, place your hands up behind your head on the ball or holding onto a wall if you need more stability. Slowly begin to roll your hips in a circle toward the right. Arching a little when your hips circle to the back and then curve the back under when your hips circle to the front. Make small circles and as you get more comfortable, you can go to larger circles. Focus on contracting your abs as each time you roll the ball forward. Now repeat this about 20 times per direction. All right, so next up is ball marches. Ball marches are a great way to challenge your balance taking one foot off the floor and forcing that standing foot to keep you stable. So for this one, hold onto the wall if you need to or place the ball against a wall for more support or you can do it in the middle of the floor if you're more up to it. All right, so first up, sit on the ball with your spine straight and your abs nice and tight. Take your hands behind your head if you can or keep them on the ball and lift your right foot off the floor just a few inches. Lower your foot and then lift your other foot off the ground a couple of inches. Now, as you get more comfortable with the movement, you can lift your knee higher and march faster. You can also add a little bounce on the ball if you feel more comfortable. Repeat this for about one to two minutes. All right, so this one kicks it up a notch. This is the seated ball balance. So this exercise will really challenge your balance. So give yourself some time to practice and perfect this one. All right, so sit on the ball, spine nice and straight, and tighten those abs. Place your hands either on the ball or behind your head, or hold on to a wall for balance. Lift your right foot up off the floor and then straighten it out, holding it into the air for about five seconds. Lower and then repeat on the other side. Now do this for about five to 10 reps on each side. All right, next up is the ball walks. Ball walks are very challenging on your core, so take time with this one as well. You may just want to walk halfway down to test your core strength before you go all the way down. All right, let's get started. On this one, you're gonna sit on the ball, put your hands on the ball behind your head or onto a wall, just as all the others. Begin by contracting your abs, so squeezing nice and tight and slowly walking your feet forward. As you walk, slowly roll your back down on the ball. Keep walking and rolling until your head and shoulders are on the ball and your hips are lifted into like a bridge position. Walk all the way back up until you're seated upright again and then repeat. Now you wanna repeat this one about 10 to 15 times. <laughs> Now you will notice that the ball might move, so you might be traveling across the floor. Totally fine, totally normal. You're doing it right. Just reposition the ball if you find that you're all the way across the room. All right, next up is one of my personal favorites, the ball squat. These ones are awesome. They help you work on your balance, but they also are gonna strengthen your glutes, hips, and thighs. Woo! All right, let's get into it. For this one, prop the ball up against the wall and position it behind your lower to your mid back. Walk your feet out a bit so that you're leaning against the ball, feet about hip distance apart. You wanna have your feet a little bit further forward than you think you might will because if your knees are too close to the wall, you might strain your knees. Now bend your knees and lower into a squat, going as low as you can. Try looking down to make sure your knees aren't drifting too far over your toes. And remember, you wanna lean back into that ball. Now, keep your weight in your heels as you push up and try not to lock your knees when you stand. Now repeat this about 15 times. And if you wanna add a little bit extra intensity, stay down in that squat position for a moment before you come up to standing. 
All right, next up is the back extension. This is another awesome exercise, but it can be a little tricky to get into the position. But once you got it, you are golden. All right, so for this one, you're gonna lie face down with the ball under your hips or your lower torso, your lower belly, belly button to your pelvis, somewhere around there. You can rest on your knees, which is easier, or on your toes with your knees straight, which is more challenging. You might also wanna put your feet up against a wall so that you don't slip and slide. Now place your hands under your chin, elbows bent. Roll forward over the ball and then contract your lower back to lift your chest up off the ball, okay? You're gonna lift that chest up off the ball. Try to get up as high as you can, but don't hyper extend your back, okay? Now repeat, lower yourself back down and then back up again and repeat that for about 12 to 15 repetitions. All right, last exercise I have for you today is gonna work on your glutes and your hamstrings as well as your stability muscles working on that balance. And that is the hip lifts. For this one, you're gonna lie on the floor with your heels propped up on the ball, keeping your abs nice and tight. Slowly lift your hips up off the floor, squeezing your booty. Keep going until your body can't get up any higher. Hold for a few seconds at the top and then slowly lower yourself down. Do this one about 15 times. Now, if your knees are uncomfortable being in that locked position, roll the ball in with your feet as your hips come up to the highest position. This is gonna engage those hamstrings even more and then it won't keep your knees locked in that straight position. All right, and there you have it. Those are my beginner Swiss ball exercises to work on your balance, stability, as well as get a nice full body workout. I hope you enjoyed them and I will see you next time.